If you're into adventure sports and endurance there aren't many brands that cater for your tracking needs like Sunto. Rugged, robust and multi-sport talented, Sunto watches are built for doing battle with the big outdoors. The latest addition to the family, the premium Sunto 9, takes this to new levels. You are watching Watches Studio and in this video we gonna review a Sunto 9 which is available on Amazon for the latest prices also we have included links in the description box down below so let's get started with the video. Design The Sunto 9 is unmistakably a Sunto with that familiar chunky, armored feel to the overall look. It comes in two colors, black with a slick looking brushed dark metallic bezel and white with a brushed aluminum bezel. Both boast a smart look with a premium style that could pass as an everyday timepiece though with an adventurer edge. We tested the black version. There's a large sapphire crystal display that can withstand the knocks and scuffs a watch like this is likely to take. Though the 320 by 300 color touchscreen doesn't fill that whole space, it's plenty big enough to display up to 5 in session stats at a time at a size that's easy to read and presents numbers and charts such as heart rate progression in enough detail for at a glance review. As you'd expect from a watch that's all about being big on battery life, there's manually adjustable brightness, a screensaver style dimmer and auto power save settings that kick in when you move between power modes, strap, the 24mm silicone strap is wide, comfortable and feels unbreakable. There's a decent amount of stretch that ensures a good fit for most wrists, even if yours falls between the 18 notches. However, if you've got small wrists there's a big question mark over whether this will be a comfortable fit. The straps can be swapped thanks to a simple clip system but there's a limited choice of straps that will work with the Sunto 9. At 81 grams, the Sunto 9 is 6 grams lighter than the standard Garmin Phoenix 5 Plus but it's still heavier than most running watches on the market. The extra weight is a trade-off that most runners will probably be happy to make for all the features and that epic battery life, though. We tested the Sunto up against a Polar H10 chest strap during our Dixon's Carphone race to the Stones Ultra and it performed well for wrist-based optical. The Sunto clocked us at an average 153 BPM compared to the Polar H10 at 150 BPM on day 1 with the average heart rate for each mile split coming in 1-2 beats per minute lower. That's a solid performance, screen, the touch screen is responsive, but we found it easier to use the Sunto 9's three buttons for controlling the watch after workouts, when the touch screen got a bit fiddly with sweaty fingers though this is a problem you get with pretty much all touch screen watches. The screen auto dims when not in use to save power and you have to bring it back to life with the tap of the screen, there's no Apple Watch 3 style lift to wake action here. It also dims during an activity and needs a tap or a button press to bring up the brightness. Battery. One of the things that makes Sunto popular with adventure types is the ability to customize the watch to very specific needs and you can do that with battery too. It's possible to create your own custom battery settings for each sport mode. For example you can have heart rate on an ultra and endurance mode if that's desirable. Once you're into an activity, the Sunto 9 can also estimate how much battery life you have left in your current mode and prompt you to switch modes to extend the life. The alerts come once you hit 20% and then 10%. The final battery trick Sunto puts up your sleeve is intelligent reminders. Based on your activity history, it will learn when you normally do those long sessions and nudge you ahead of time if it spots you might need to charge up before you head out, for example for that long Sunday ride. We'll touch on the low power mode accuracy a little later, but in terms of the battery life, we tested the Sunto 9 during a 100 km multi-stage ultra. We took the watch off charge at 5.30 m on a Friday, ran two 5 hour 50 kms over a weekend and two midweek hour long runs all on performance mode. The Sunto 9 finally ran out of battery the following Friday morning. That's 7 days of normal usage with a good 12 hours of run time on the default battery setting. We're not quite fit enough to run for 120 hours to test the ultra mode battery life or even the 40 hour endurance mode to the full extent. But we did long runs in ultra and endurance mode to see what the battery drop was like, features, 
There's barometric and GPS altitude, optical heart rate, interval training, training load and recovery time recommendations, and all this tech has been through rigorous drop, freeze, humidity and immersion testing. In short, the Sunto 9 is built to go into battle with you during the daily grind and pretty much any extreme adventure you can dream up. But we found the screen quite hard to read in direct sunlight even set to 100% brightness. It also picks up fingerprints really easily and we found ourselves having to clean the screen all the time. Unfortunately, because the touchscreen disables during activity, you're forced to press buttons and when you do you end up scrolling to the next stats screen or worse, pausing a run. You can choose from a different watch faces displaying various stats such as time, step count, sunrise and sunset and battery life. When it comes to climate and conditions, According to the specs there's not much that the Sunto can't handle. It's waterproof up to 100 meters and capable of operating at temperatures minus 20 degrees Celsius to plus 55 degrees Celsius or minus 5 degrees Fahrenheit to plus 130 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's polar and desert endurance taken care of then, GPS, and what about the accuracy of those all important GPS stats? We compared the Sunto 9 in Ultra Mode, its lowest GPS settings, with the Garmin 4 Runner 645 in full GPS mode, tracking GPS at 1 second intervals, over a 5 km run with a few twists, turns and tunnels. And here is what we found. For total distance the Garmin clocked 3.30 miles against the Sunto's 3.29. So nicely accurate there. As you can see from the maps. Sunto's Ultra Mode comes up pretty close to the Garmin. All around that's impressive. The Sunto's navigation skills are on point too, with real-time breadcrumb trails, point of interest navigation, route planning and finding, a personal route library that you can sync to your watch. One thing we couldn't find though, was a way to run a route and then store it for navigation later. Triathletes. Ironman competitors and multi-sporters will enjoy the fact you can do a long press on the central button for quick transitions, tracking, sleep tracking is catered for too. You can set your sleep times and track your sleep duration, waking time and your average heart rate during sleep. You can also adjust your do not disturb hours to kill off pesky nighttime notifications. Though we do wonder, with a watch this size. If the only time you'll want to wear this all night is when you're up a mountain somewhere running a 30 hour ultra. But we suspect Sunto 9 fans will be more the kind of people who want to forget the world and vanish into the wilderness, for those times when real life calls. Once you've paired your Sunto 9 with your smartphone, you can get notifications from your major apps. You can scroll back through historical updates too, which is a nice touch. However, you can't tailor which smartphone notifications sync to your Sunto 9. It's all or nothing, or you have to switch them on and off using your phone's app settings which obviously affects how they work even when you're not using your Sunto. While those whose pursuits are subject to altitude and air pressure will love that the Sunto 9 automatically switches between auto and barometer readings based on movements tracked on the accelerometer. This means the sun token more accurately track changes in sea level air pressure and altitude, so it's better equipped for accuracy for sailing and hiking. Price, the sun tone 9 is out now in the US, UK and Canada, but it's not cheap, coming in at $332, £431, $665 respectively, a price that puts it in competition with the likes of the Garmin Phoenix 5 but a bit below the Garmin Phoenix 5X and Garmin Phoenix 5 Plus. This is all for now, you can check links in the description box down below, Sun Tonine is available on Amazon you can check in the price by clicking on the link. Thanks for watching, hope to see you guys in the next video, goodbye.